down to the lake and it's grey. But do we care? No, because we're outside and we're hunting for some pebbles and stones. Woo! been searching for pebbles. The butterfly girls are off to their favourite beach. It's where magical stones can be found. It's a long way away from the little humbug's forest, too far to fly, so they take their boat. I love the sea, said Lucy. It's so peaceful. They looked out across the calm water. Look, said Chloe, I can see the beach. I can't wait to play in the sand, giggled Jasmine, as she helped Chloe and Lucy pull the boat to shore. The butterfly girls chased each other up and down the golden sandy beach, giggling and screaming with delight when they found a magical stone. Once they'd collected enough stones and pebbles, they sat down and made love hearts for the human children to find. Chloe found a stick and began to draw and write her name in the sand. All too quick, the sun had begun to set and the girls knew it was time to head home to the forest. Don't be sad, said Jasmine. Think of all the wonderful things we can make with our pebbles and rocks. Can you guess what they made? So now that we're back home with our treasure, we want to basically clean up our, our pebbles and put them on a baking tray, ready for the oven. What you want to do is you want to put your rocks in the oven at 350. Okay, so we've brought them out of the oven and we've let them cool for a few minutes because we don't want to work with them boiling hot but you still have to have them hot in order for the wax to, to melt. Here we go. Let's get painting. They do melt quickly, don't they Samuel? And we got them all. Oh, yeah.